Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Welcome back to another episode right here at Mike's Mods and Customs. Today we got a fantastic episode to show you, so please take a seat, grab yourself a beverage, get comfortable, and enjoy the show. All right, guys. Hey, hey well, welcome back. <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode right here at Mike's Mods and Customs, and I got even more shop cards to show you and a few gifts from a couple of awesome channel followers. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, right here, right off the bat, you can see, if you don't know him, if you're subscribed to my channel, you subscribe to this guy's channel. In fact, if you're subscribed to my channel, you subscribe to all of these guys' channels that I got to show you. The Mediocre Modeler, Mark over there. Mark reached out to me uh, several weeks ago now and actually asked me to help him out with a uh, little bit of a custom diecast project that he wanted to do. And in the meantime, we did a uh, shop card swap. So, right there, we have, uh, we have Mark's. Mark's a handwritten, hand drawn and written out shop card there. Thanks for the kind words on the back. And I will definitely have a link down in the description down below. I encourage you to get on over there and check out Mark and his channel. So let's see if I can do this right. Perfect. And there we go. There's our next one. Joe right over here at the Outpost 31 Model Works. Awesome channel. Awesome content. One of my favorites right there. I did a truck similar to that in 164th scale. Um, so yeah, get on over there. Click that link down below in my description box. And get on over there and see Joe. Check out his work that he's got at Outpost 31. And everybody knows this guy. Brian over at BG's Model Workshop. Brian, I reached out to Brian and asked him for a card swap. I sent him one of mine. He sent me one of his, and one of my favorites, a sticker. Yes, sir. Love the stickers. Get on over there. Check out Brian's. Click that link down in the description down below. Of course, get on over there and check out BG's channel. It's got some really cool content and actually some awesome tips on painting up and weathering wood to look realistic. I used his tips in one of my builds coming up. You'll see it, or you've already seen it. I forget where these videos are laying out. But get on over there and check out Brian's channel. And let's see. We got a couple more hiding back here. Oh, yes. Who doesn't know Mr. Mark Batson? Hobby Dude 007 with some channel stickers. I love it. And not only that, he got me two cards. Check that out. We got the old Petty style and a modern day style cup car. Very cool. Again, reached out to Mark. More than happy to do a card swap. I sent him one of mine. He's got one of his. He's, he's got one of his. I got one of mine. Uh, well, that works. Anyways, click that link in the description down below. Get on over there and check out Mark's channel at Hobby Dude 007. I was going to put you on pause real quick a second here. Gonna swap some things around and show you some, some gifts I got. All right, I'm back. Change the camera angle around for you so you can see these a little bit better. So I got three model kits that was gifted to me. This one here was uh, was brought in to me and gifted to me by uh, uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Dave. And I had been talking about wanting to do a little bit of a custom build on a, a model kit of an S10. And he said, I have just the one for you. So, and not only did he gift me the, the model kit, but the uh, cowl induction hood scoop that I'm going to need for it as well. So that's super cool. All brand new in the box. Brought it into my work and gifted it to me one day and would not take anything for it. I thank you. Thank you very much. You know who you are, Mr. Dave. That's awesome. I'd give you any kind of links in the description down below to let you know where to go and check them out. But he ain't got none of that on Facebook, but that's it. So it looks like we might have to do some choosing of a 3d printed engine because the truck that i'm going to replicate definitely did not have a 2.2 liter four cylinder engine in it that's for sure um i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a give you a little teaser some of you will know what i'm talking about some of you won't but the truck's gonna have a name it's gonna be a replica of what we call overkill some of you know what that means some of you don't soon enough you all will so next up um, we all know that I like my Camaros, <coughs> oh, 
excuse me, good friend of mine back home in Massachusetts uh, reached out to me, sent me a couple of pictures and said, hey, look at these models I'm about to acquire. Are you interested in any? And I says, well, duh. Of course, I'll take Camaros. Um, there was a convertible of this car as well that was available, but I have one over there in the stash already. So I went with the hard top and the uh, California Highway Patrol car. This one here is a little bit larger. I do, yeah, so it's the 120th scale, so it's a little bit bigger car. Um, super cool. And um, as I said, I was gifted these. Um, he told me he was purchasing them from a collection, and uh, he wouldn't take any money. So anyways, yes, these were gifted to me from Keith over there at Outlaw Speed Shop. A lot of you guys in the diecast world know exactly who he is. And a few of you guys in the plastic model community are getting to know who he is. He's a fantastic builder. He's an awesome, awesome customizer. Let me just show you something real quick. To give you an idea of this guy's talent. Check this thing out. This is a 80s style Camaro that he 100% customized. And he gifted to me. I watched him build it on his, on his channel. And as I watched him build it, I was just totally amazed at, at the results of the car. And the next thing I know, he walked in the door and said, here you go. You like Camaros. It's yours. So, yeah, look at that thing. Just to give you an idea of what this guy can do for work. Super, super talented. Keith over at Outlaw Speed Shop. And, of course, there's going to be a link in the description down below. Get on over there and check out his channel. So that's all I got for you guys for this one. I'm going to make this one kind of short and sweet. Well, psych, there is one more. This one just came in the mail, actually. So we're putting this here in the middle of the video. The Hot Wheels Race Team Monster Truck. Latest collection to add. Latest one to add to the Hot Wheels plastic model collection. So I'm super excited about this one. We just got it in. I think I now only have one more to go, which is a, um, I think it's a Dodge Charger or Challenger. Uh, funny car, I think it is. So that's the one last one I think I need to collect for the Hot Wheels edition stuff. New shop cards, new gifts for the uh, for the for the stash, and custom builds coming up in the future. So uh, thanks for hanging out here with me again for another quick little episode of Mike's Mods and Customs, and I will catch you guys on the next one. And yeah, thanks for joining me here for another episode here at Mike's Mods and Customs. If you really like what you see here, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and maybe even share it along to a couple of friends of yours. Once again, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you on the next one.